Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your septic is? Or more precisely, do you know where its effluent is? If this sounds like a tortured attempt at a joke, this is a question that could have scarier implications than you would think. And for Wanda and David Scott, the answer ended up being everywhere. But more on that later. For first, we are going to cover the top things you should know about leach fields. Number one, a leach field is an underground array of perforated pipes that are adjacent to a septic tank. The leach field is responsible for removing contaminants and impurities from the liquid after it leaves the septic tank. Number two, a septic system has two parts. The septic tank, which is the tank into which wastewater from the house flows. In the tank, solid waste sinks to the bottom and the liquid waste rises to the top and then flows into the leach field. The leach field, as we mentioned earlier, is a field made of perforated pipes or leach lines through which the liquid waste flows. As the waste flows through the pipes, it seeps into the ground to be filtered by the soil. Number three, leach fields will typically be located in a large flat open area of your yard. Leach fields contain multiple leach lines that are buried in trenches between 18 to 36 inches deep and one to three feet wide. Each trench can be up to 100 feet long and the trenches are usually spaced six feet apart from each other. Number four, leach fields can last for up to 25 years, but to get the full lifespan, you need to make sure that you are properly maintaining the rest of your septic system. Number five, there are a few common maintenance things you can do to keep your leach field from failing. Most of these start in the home. If your house is on a septic system, avoid pouring grease, chemicals, or paint down any of your drains. Be very careful that you don't flush anything other than common bathroom tissue. This means nothing else, including paper towels or garbage. Some homes on septic systems do have garbage disposals, but you should use these disposals sparingly. Remember, all of that ground up food waste does go into your septic tank. Limit laundry to one load per day. If you flood your septic system with too much water at any one time, this can create issues for the entire system, including your leach field. That's why appliances that deposit a ton of water at once into the system, like washing machines, should have their use spaced out. Do not park cars or place heavy objects on top of the leach field and schedule regular septic tank pumping about every three to five years. Finally, inspect your system annually to make sure it is in good working condition. Number six, there are some warning signs you should look out for. These signs include wastewater backing up into household drains, bright green spongy grass in your leach field area, especially occurring during dry seasons, pooling water or muddy soil around your septic system, and a strong odor around the septic tank and leach field. Number seven, there are also some do's and don'ts when it comes to a leach field. Despite what you may think, you can allow both children and pets to play on the area above a leach field. As long as the leach field is in good working condition, it poses no health hazard to you or your family. And you can landscape the area above the leach field, although I would note that grass is not the best choice of ground cover. You typically want plants whose roots are not going to be too deep or intrusive to ensure that they don't cause any damage. However, as we mentioned earlier, you should not allow heavy traffic on the leach field. This means no parking on top of it. In a similar vein, you should not build on top of the leach field. Even small improvements like cement and gravel walkways can cause problems for the drain field. And finally, while you can landscape the area above the leach field, you don't want to create a garden there. Tilling and fertilizer use can damage the leach field, but perhaps more importantly, Vegetable plants tend to have deeper roots, and eating produce grown above a leach field can come with a risk of exposure to microorganisms. Finally, number eight. If a leach line or a whole leach field does need to be replaced, you'll want to hire a professional to do this. But just so you understand what the process is, here are the steps. Tear out all existing components in your leach field and install a new distribution box near the septic tank. The distribution box is where the effluent from the septic tank flows into. The box will then direct the incoming water into the different leach lines. 
From the distribution box, you run lateral pipes outward into trenches that form the leach field. One important thing to keep in mind here is that you want to keep water flowing through the pipes so that it eventually percolates out into the soil. To do this, the pipe should run at a downhill angle. You'll place plastic septic chambers over the leach line pipes and fill the trenches with at least six inches of dirt. At this point, you'll contact the local permitting office to have them inspect your leach field. And when your field passes inspection, then you can fill in the rest of the trenches. But let's return to Wanda and David Scott. The couple's historic house on George's White Marsh Island came with an old-fashioned dock that provides access to Richardson Creek and the surrounding marsh. But dock parties have grown scarcer in recent years as the marsh water has slowly crept further into their property. Recently, they had 75 straight days of flooding, more or less rendering the area unusable. Unfortunately, this newly flooded area is also where their leach field is located, and the Scots are now worried about more than their dock. A leach field needs at least a few feet of dry soil to filter pollutants from the septic tank discharge, and the flooding waters could cause their leach field to fail, becoming then itself contaminated with effluent from their septic system. The Scots are not being paranoid. It's estimated that 60,000 septic systems in Georgia alone are at risk of failing as water tables rise with climate change, potentially contaminating surface and groundwater with disease-causing pathogens. But it's not just coastal areas. Nearly one-fifth of U.S. homes use septic systems, and when homeowners don't maintain their septics or replace them as they age, the system can fail, leaking raw sewage into neighboring wells and recreational waterways. For this reason, nearly every jurisdiction has regulation around septic systems, even those that lack zoning or building codes. Yet these regulations usually only affect newer replacement systems. Most states do not inspect septics once they go in the ground, and maintenance is entirely up to the homeowner. If you think about it, it's actually somewhat surprising how unregulated septics are. Still, if you've ever found yourself angered by the rules that do exist, keep in mind the alternative. And don't forget to ask yourself, do you know where your septic effluent lies? Now, do you have any stories about leach fields or septic systems? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.